Hello my fellow ink and paper enthusiasts, welcome to the channel. Today I am opening up a exciting little package here and I can't wait to show you what's inside. So stay tuned for this haul. and paper enthusiasts welcome back it is great to have you here if you are new here welcome friend it's great to have you join us during april had a few packages come in and didn't really look at many of them other than my fountain pens because i used those so this delightful package has been sitting discarded just waiting to be ripped into for me to be able to do this unboxing and I'm super excited to share it with you. This is a package from Notebook Therapy. This is their spring collection. There is a traveler's notebook and one of their original size notebooks. The traveler's notebook has a bunch of goodies with it. I've never actually gotten a Notebook Therapy notebook before. Um, as you know, the beginning of this year, I got a Archer and Olive book in sort of preparation for NaNoWriMo with a few fountain pens to sort of have really good quality tools to inspire me to keep working and keep writing and keep focused. So that led me to wanting to try out Notebook Therapy because a lot of people sort of are like diehard fans of one or the other and I just want to try them both out. So when I saw these absolutely beautiful notebooks and they had sent me an email with a discount code, I went, you know what, this is the perfect time to try it. I mean, look at the boxes, they are so beautiful. I'm, oh, this is just the packaging. Okay, so we're gonna open up the Traveler's Journal first. This is like a kit, it's got a magnetic closure. I'm really excited about reusing this box for, <gasps> wow, okay. These are really beautiful. Let's uh, let's take a look at this notebook first. It is a lovely fabric cover. Oh man, this the paper is just beautiful quality. It's not that crisp, crisp white. It's a little off white, which is perfect. It's just beautiful. I love it. Um, the ribbons are just really, really lovely. Look at those gold foil <gasps> on the spine too. Oh, I love this. I have plans for this. So we're going to put that aside. It came with this sheet of what are these? I don't know if these are stickers. Hmm. I'll put that aside. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments below. It's not like a sticker. I don't know what it is. Let me know. <laughs> oh gosh. Look at these washi tapes. I love these colors. Having set up my nano writing journal with the cherry blossoms, man, this is just really my vibe right now. It's not generally my aesthetic to go towards pinks, but I am really loving it. I'm really enjoying it. Look at that gold foil on this tape. It is so pretty. All of the colors are just so lovely too. It's not just like a plain tape with some pretty flowers on it. It's like a bunch of different layers in this. There's writing and there's pictures and there's different colored splashes in the background. This is really beautiful. And it's not super skinny either. Like I, I generally gravitate towards the really skinny washi because I guess I use a skinny planner. Um, and so I've kind of been going more towards the little pops of color that don't take up a lot of space, but this is really lovely. Oh, and this one's kind of like, almost more like stickers with individual labels. That's really cool. You could cut like segments of this and layer it over the other washi tape. Really, really beautiful. Lots of options here. Okay, and these ones are like washi tape stickers. And I loved this because it's got all of these like stationary icons. So for typing, for pen paling, letters and envelopes, and then one's like a journal with a pen. So this is 
perfect. I'll be able to use these icons as like quick references for in my planner of days and times that I'm planning to do different things. I love that. These stamps are gorgeous. I really gravitate towards this like post office theme, the wavy lines, like postage stamps. And like I've, I've used these a lot in just like my planning and my spreads in my journaling in my scrapbooking uh, it's just an aesthetic that I like I'm big into pen paling and it's something I really really enjoy I don't bring enough of that content on the channel but it is something I do frequently and really enjoy and so I'm excited to use these stamps just in everyday life for so many different projects this is lovely I really have no idea what this is for the, it might be, I think I've seen these where you like put it down and you scratch on the back and it transfers it from this sheet to the page, but I'm not sure. If you've ordered kits from Notebook Therapy before and gotten these sheets before, let me know in the comments, if you don't mind, how to use them. Like, what do I do with this? Otherwise, I'm probably just going to like glue them into a book and that seems like that's not what they're for. Um, so yeah, let me know, please. Okay, so that is the Traveler's Notebook. Now this is the spring notebook in their original size and oh my goodness this is a fabric book so it's wrapped in fabric but this beautiful imagery is printed right onto the fabric and there's the beautiful little gold foil petals wow man this oh and on ah it's printed right on the seam the paper Oh my goodness, guys. Both of these notebooks are stunning. I am so pleased. This is stunning. All the attention to detail. Just beautiful, beautiful notebook. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with this. But look at all of this. The branches and the petals. There's like this great transitional color here. This is just so so pretty okay well so for my first notebook therapy books i'd say these are <laughs> pretty jaw-dropping wow let me know in the comments down below guys is this like normal quality for notebook therapy these are just so so pretty and they just i mean this they go together there's this beautiful harmony here so yes, let me know which one do you like better? What are you using your notebooks for? And what should I use these for? The Traveler's Notebook I have plans for, but this beautiful spring journal, I have no idea what I'm gonna use it for, but uh, I'm excited. If you have any thoughts or ideas, drop them down in the comments below. I would love to hear it and we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and joining me for another unboxing video. I love spending my Saturday mornings with you. I hope you have a fantastic weekend or a great day whenever you watch this. I will see you in the next one. And until then, take care, my lovelies. Bye.